All right, now that I've physically disabled the write protection for the monitor's EDID data, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Ubuntu 14.04 Live USB to modify it. So I open up my Firefox and load my command list. Next, I open up a terminal. Let's resize this. There we go. Now the first thing I need to do is load the I2C device module. So this enables all the devices, which you can see uh, here. One of these is the EEPROM, which holds the monitor's EDID data. Interestingly, this EEPROM is powered through the HDMI cable, and my monitor's power cable is not plugged in. But everything should work regardless of whether or not the monitor is plugged in or turned on. So now I need to enable the universe repository. I can either do this by pasting this into the command line, so use Control c and then in the terminal, you have to use Control shift v Or alternatively, you can just go to the Software Center here and go Edit Software Sources and click on this universe here. Make sure that's checked. Okay, um, now I need to update the packages. Since this takes time, I'm going to cancel. I cheated by doing this beforehand, so it's okay. Now I'm going to install the I2C tools. And this will allow me to read and write to I2C devices. Um, now the EDID data is on one of these I2C devices at hex address 50, 50. To find it, I need to scan the devices until I run across my monitor's identifier. So, um, I'm going to start from device 0 and dump address 50. Get past the confirmation. That's not it. So I use the up arrow to access my previous commands. Still not it. Now, this is my monitor's EDID data, and you can see, because the monitor identifier here, the L246WP, that's the model of my monitor. Um, so before we start making modifications, it's wise to make a backup. So I'm going to dump the data, so my previous command, uh, dump to uh, edid.txt. Um, now, as you can see, if I uh, if I display this, um, this text file contains the edid data. Now, since the live USB is read-only, it's very important that you email this file to yourself because it'll be erased on the next reboot. So now let's modify the EDID data. We are interested in byte, the byte at 7e, which is decimal 126. So we come to the row 7 and column e. Uh, 7e, this is the 0, 1 here. So uh, according to the EDID specification, this byte indicates the number of extensions. So we have one extension. 
Um, so we need to change this to zero. So we just use the i2c set command. So device number five, address five zero, uh, byte seven e, and we want to set it to zero zero. Okay. Um, now this next part is a bit more subtle. Byte number 27, which in hex is 7f, so there's 7 and then f, this is the next byte after the 0, 01 we wrote here. This is 8a, the, the value 8a, and this, is, this byte, uh, this uh, location is the checksum. Um, so it'll be different depending on your monitor's serial number. So this checksum is chosen so that if you sum all of the hexadecimal values for byte number 0 through 127, then the last two hexadecimal digits of the result will be 0, 0. Now, we just decreased uh, byte number 126 by 1, so to compensate, we need to increase this checksum by 1. So in case you're not familiar with hexadecimal, let's open up the calculator. So I switch to programming mode, choose hexadecimal, and we want to look at 8a plus 1, and this is 8b in hex. So we're interested in the last two digits, so if it started off as ff, then you add 1 and it would be 100, zero, zero, and we would put in 00. zero. So uh, for our case, we have 8b. So what we do, we go to 7f, and we change it to 8b. OK, now I'll just dump the data again to verify the changes that we've made. So, put the data to the screen, and we see that instead of 118a, we now have 0, uh, 018a, we have 008b. So, um, now we're done. That's it. We just reboot everything, and the monitor should come back online working properly.